Hi guys, it's Toss from Cranky Games UK here with our month of October um, Lego Star Wars reviews. As I said in the previous Lego videos, I am going to be doing a monthly review of a couple of kits each month leading right up to Christmas, which hopefully we should have the advent calendar round about that time as well, which I'll probably do a daily unboxing of each window of that as well. But as you can see in the window, I've got two kits this month. It is, I think I'm getting two kits each month. But as you can remember from last week's, uh, last month's preview with the three fantastic figures, if you've not seen them yet, obviously follow the links to my subscriptions, my channel. They're all there, as is video games. That's the usual thing I do. But I love to do a monthly hobby of Lego unboxing. Appreciate all the feedback, guys. Crankytoss at gmail.com. My usual website is www.crankygamersuk.net where we do a weekly podcast. It's been going nine years now. Um, but anyway, without further ado, let's crack straight on. As I say, two kits. I'm just going to show you the boxes first of both, just the ins and outs, the front and the back, um, describe a little about the boxes, and then what I'll do, we will cut straight to both the kits that's been built so you can have a good look at actually what they are. And so we kick off, and we kick off with the first kit, this month it is the Lego First Order Snow Speeder from Star Wars. It's the kit 75100. Let's zoom right into the little mini figures there, which you will get to see in a little while. It's First Order Snow Trooper Officer, First Order Snow Trooper, First Order Snow Trooper. Um, you will also see some really cool little cloth bits. They, they've got the capes. You've probably all seen the capes that they do on these. I'll show them a little bit later when I show you the actual built figure but that's the minifigures in there this is a piece that's got 444 pieces it retails on the uk lego site for around 39.99 it's um well as i say it's 39 if i, I class these as one of the medium size kits you all know the ones there's a small medium and the super large and the really good ones i've got a small one this month and this one let's quickly flip the box just to see uh, as i say i've already built this and i'll talk about it in a second um just some cool things they've got the new shooter system there that is a pretty nice mechanism as well this was a quite a good build actually um, but i'll show you that later a couple of guns up there that's for the off the first officer snow trooper and a couple of other stuff to note here um, you've got bins with bullets in and guns and you've also got a gun on the front there so really guys it is a nice medium sized kit a little bit technical if you guys and i know a lot of you are always ask me if it's good enough for the children the young kids, a bit technical, might need a little bit of help. As you can see, the age group is 8 to 14. I think uh, the younger ones would need some help with that. Um, but there we have, guys. The first one this month is the First Order Snow Speeder, a nice new model that I'm quite impressed with, and the build was pretty cool as well. So let's shift that out and bring number two in for this month. And it is, like I said, it's a small one this month, um, but this one... I'm actually toying with the idea this one was an actual better build and enjoyable build and it is um, the um, Raze Snow Race Speeder. It's kit 75099. Um, as I say, one of the small kits, two of the, let me see if I can get zoomed in onto the minifigures. They're really difficult to do um, on a cloak camera, but you have Ray and Uncar's Thug, a really, really nice minifigure there with some cool paintings on the front. Um, also, the... The, the character Ray comes with a brilliant helmet that I'll show you in a little while that I've actually, that's the one I've chosen. So, um, so yeah, it's, it's a nice little kit. A um, few things of note, it's got stickers on it as well. Um, I'll also just get you the price and the, um, just bear with me for one second, I will get you the price and the amount of pieces as well. Um, but I'll just show you on the back while we're searching for that. And it is, like I say, a real cool little bit of bits of tech on this even for a small build as well you'll see that if i can zoom in here there's a little mechanism on the side that you turn dials and it opens the two front doors storage space for stuff inside and as i say for, for one of the small ones um it is it's only priced for 19.99 this kit um so it is classed as one of the small ones out there uh two minifigures with changeable heads of course um pieces only 193 pieces not bad actually for 20 quid we all know star wars is very very expensive way more expensive than the other kits now this one i would say is a nice build for the kids it's uh, not got many pieces a few small niggly pieces but good and the mini figs are two rare ones as well um as i said i'll just give you another quick look at the back of the box and then we'll cut in actually to 
to the actual um, build of both of them and I'll get both kits up on camera so you can see the finished things and I'll give you my thoughts. So there is the unboxing, let me bring the other one back in on both so you can just get a quick look for this month's boxes. It is 75100 first order snow speeder, 7599 race speeder, nice couple of new kits. So just hang on two minutes guys and we will bring you the actual build of the kits back in a second. Okay guys, here we are, right back with the follow-up to the uh, box videos, and now we have the completed vehicles. Let's start with Ray's Speeder, and I want to try and hopefully get into some of these minifigs, which is really difficult to do, as I say, every month, but it just is, and I want you guys to see them because they're really cool. And there we are, look, that is a cracking painted minifigure with a really cool weapon, staff of some kind. Um, and I'm going to pull this one, oh no I'm not, I'm not going to pull this one out because I'm going to bring the figure up to there because it's really, really cool. Um, hopefully Negan, you're not going to get the thing. Let's try and get it out. Anyway, let's get on with the vehicles. Um, this is Ray Snow Speeder um, and it's a real cool build, it really is. Um, as you can see from one side there, a um, few things of note, you've got adjustable back flaps like that. I'll show you one of the cool things in it. You've got a few, um, this one's come off, let me just replace this quickly on the top of there like that. A few cool little weapons added onto the side of the vehicle there, kind of gun saber, a kind of axe and a kind of, some kind of chainsaw which is cool. Um, we spin it round, um, we have nothing on that side, but what you do have is the customary new trigger shooters here that Star Wars vehicles are doing um, there and there. I won't shoot them. What I did though is just my addition. They was left blank and there are the spare bullets for the shooters, but I've actually just stuck them on top. I thought it looked pretty cool and a good way of storing. Um, also of note, you've got the lightsaber gun of Ray right there that does attach to the minifigure if you want to... Uh, to play what I'm going to show you is one of these dials here turns and when you do turn it quite coolly it opens one side of the door and then it opens the other side of the door um, which is pretty cool they are fully closable again also you saw that fell out of there is just an additional little extra that Lego put in um, and that is uh, like I say I want to just mention a few things because I actually I like this one better than the the one that cost more money. I just enjoyed it, and it was a really quick build. It was only three bags of Lego, so and it just is a beautiful little build. Um, and with the addition of the features of turning the bottom wheel to open the doors, I just think it's just pretty neat for just a small figure. As I say, very nice race speeder, 1999. Highly recommended buying, guys. It's one of my favourites to say it's one of the small ones, but there you are. That's the first one. Now let's get the big one. This does retail at $39.99. I'm just going to pull the minifigs off just so I can show them you. This is the main officer stormtrooper. Let me get you this one in shot. Again, cool markings, cool weapon. You'll notice there that little shoulder piece that's an extra bit, which is cool. Nice little back piece as well. But that is one of the coolest minifigs I've seen for a while. Let's hope he gets in focus. The camera should do it shortly, but it's already been in focus once you've seen him. But anyway, that's the officer. Copy exactly for the pair of um, just pair of stormtroopers there are just normal, you know, identical pair with just standard guns. Beautiful markings on gorgeous helmets. I do love the helmet on the stormtroopers. Cracking. As we come to this vehicle, it is the First Order Snow Speeder. It's, it's a strange one, it really is. It's a, as you can see in my hand there, just to give you a gauge of size, I'll try and spin it around. Not much of note of features, nice background detail there as you can clearly see. Um, we go around the other side, it's got the now customary real cool shooters. Again, I'm not going to shoot them because they go everywhere. You basically get that dial, turn it and they alternate fire all the eight and just go bang 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 pretty cool nice cool weapon build on the top as you can see there um, inside the top of the vehicle just basic three storage boxes which has in there eight extra bullets in each one you've got the cool seats at the back they adjust with headrests i'm gathering that they are they were pretty cool 
you've got a nice printed dash as you can see it's pretty difficult to show the dash because it's there you are there's the dash very nice one you can put the minifigs in but all in all a nice kind of figure um, price 39.99 um, it is the first order snow speeder um, they are stickers um, there was a few stickers on each kit to be fair there's the front of the vehicle interesting one of note on the bottom there is actually wheels a kind of wheel mechanism as you can see there um, and it does actually go across the carpet just like a wheeled car but there we are guys I mean that is the figures that is these month of October I um, hope you enjoyed these short little mini reviews I do every month they're quite popular as I say jump in click subscribe down below I've got one planned for every month um, leading right up to the month of December for Christmas I will have the advent calendar around November's review I think and I've also, because I've had a lot of feedback about the characters from the last month's video, if you've not seen that, just look below or look at the subscribe button and check all out my videos. Because last month's was a special three new figures for Lego Star Wars. I was particularly happy about that. They was really cool. I've also got two more of them coming, which are two of the most iconic Star Wars characters. So again, click subscribe, click like at the bottom. Join me next month if you're a Lego fan, if you're a video game fan, crankygamersuk.net, a weekly podcast. And as I say, I hope you've enjoyed these two little mini reviews. I have certainly enjoyed building them. Pretty cool. Until next month for the Lego. Bye for now. Bye.